my name is Jean Felder. I've been working at Oslandia since the beginning of the year, and mostly working on the 3D stuff for QGIS and as part of the OpenLog uh, project. Because as has been mentioned, with well-log representation, we have to, some. We need to deal with some 3D data. So. Um, uh, in in uh, in uh, Australia, we strongly believe that we, uh, we 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 have to do something about drill or representation in QGIS because at the moment there are not that many uh, tools and false tools to do this. So in this presentation, first of all, I will uh, present what OpenLog is, what we're trying to achieve with this project about drill or representation in QGIS. In the second part, I will explain what we have already been doing uh, since one year. And in the last part, I will try to, uh, to present some future developments and some ideas uh, where we could go next. So OpenLog. Uh, to give you some basic idea of, about OpenLog, uh, Australia has been doing, uh, has been working with the mining industry for some time now, for a few years. We have developed uh, many tools and many QGIS plugins to do so, but most of the time it's, it has been about uh, answering to uh, a client request and creating some uh, workflow which are not generic. And uh, we asked ourselves last year, uh, can we do better? Can we provide uh, with QGIS a general workflow which will, which will be useful for the mining industry and not for one client specifically. So this project has been led by Evren Pakusharie, which is our lead geologist at Oslandia. He has been talking with uh, a lot of partners from the mining industry, and uh, they all answer the same thing. We really want to have in QGIS an open source drill or visualization and edition model. Uh, so we decided to create uh, some consumption to do so uh, last year, and uh, this consumption uh, is sponsored by a uh, lot of key players from the mining industry. At the moment, I think we have something like eight partners. Uh, you can get the list from the OpenLog website uh, as seen below. And uh, they give some financial support, and they, uh, they also uh, make recommendations and, uh, and feedback from what we've been doing. What's important to keep in mind is that we, uh, the, the, our partners, they give some ideas, but we don't really answer to one specific need. We, we want to provide a, a good workflow, a good generic workflow, of course, we, we get feedback, we get uh, the needs they want, but we really want to have a solution which would work from, for anybody which is interested in drill or representation. It's open contribution because at Los Andia we believe in force. It's force from day one, and uh, anyone can get uh, right now the source code. They can test it. Uh, they can give feedback. So uh, you will have the link uh, next. At, um, we really want to do it in the open, and we're really interested if people want to uh, make contribution. For example, we have Ron Hill, uh, which is the author of one QGIS plugin called uh, Geoscience, which already does some drill or representation. And we talked to him, and he said, yes, that's a great idea. Uh, let's uh, get all that I've been doing in uh, OpenLog, and uh, let's create some uh, generic solutions. Uh, as I said, the main motivation is we, we believe in force. We, uh, we also have the feedback that uh, people from the mining industry, they are really interested in using QGIS right now, but they can't because they don't have the appropriate tools, and they are really interested in financing those tools. And at the moment, there are some custom solutions. Some of them are force, but um, if you want to do drill or representation, you don't really have a standard right now. And we think that with OpenLog, we will be able to do so. So uh, here is a roadmap at the moment. Uh, let's get some overview. First of all, uh, we want to be able to easily import data. Uh, you have some drill hole, you have some geolocal information, and we need to have some database which is able to uh, load this data in a, in a generic way to store them. And this is, uh, uh, this is what we have already been doing. 
And once you have your data which are loaded in, uh, in QGIS, you want to have some 2D representation, which is what we call analyze log and cross-section representation. Analyze log is basically if you want to have some geological information from your data of you want to see some um, geophysical properties. I will explain later. And then what I've been trying to do is we also want to expand QGIS 3D Ruler in order to have a good overview of the drill or in 3D. So at the moment, we have three different projects. The first one, ExploreDB. It's, it's mostly done. Uh, it's basically uh, all the information to store uh, the, the, the real old information in a Postgres Postgis uh, database. Uh, you can grab the source code right, right now. You can install it from PyPy. Uh, it's, it's, it's working. The second uh, part of the project is the OpenLog, which is a QGIS Python module. Uh, it's under active development. Uh, a new version was just released yesterday, and uh, we're really proud uh, of what we can do. It has two uh, main features at the moment. The first one is you can import uh, any type of data, and the second one is you can have some 2D representation. And the last part is directly done in, uh, in QGIS upstream. It's a 3D reader. I've been mostly working on it. Uh, it's, it's how to improve and add some features to the 3D uh, representation in QGIS uh, to have all the geological information we want to see. So, some features. Uh, this, this drawing represents how we can, um, how we can represent the wall log. Uh, so, on the left, you can see drill holes, and the drill hole it, uh, it goes on a, in the vertical section, and along the vertical section, you have some geological information. It's called lithology. It's, um, it's basically the, the rock properties that you find along the hull, and you can display as much as geo geophysical information as you want. Uh, it's, uh, for example, is resistivity, uh, which is displayed, and the open log model at the moment is able to do so. So here are the, some screenshots from the uh, current version of open log. First of all, this is uh, how you can import the data. If you want to represent data, you have a free type of data you want to import. First of all, you need to import the, um, the all location. And from each all, you want to have some geological information on how it behaves in the, in the vertical section. It's uh, basically it's some uh, orientation information in, uh, called deep and azimut. And once this information is imported, you, you, can, you can check uh, and see how the the drill hole behaves as you, as you go deeper. And this, the third information is for each hole, you need to have some uh, geo geophysical properties or some geological properties. So uh, OpenLog is able to load uh, this data from uh, the CSV, CSV file, which is uh, very useful in the mining industry. And then it stores them in a, in a Postgres generic template uh, database, uh, which is the uh, ExploreDB part. And once this uh, information is stored, you can update it. And it, uh, it's the main advantage of using ExploreDB is that you have some generic ID, and you can create some custom properties. So for example, if on this, on this trail chart, I have uh, imported uh, two properties for, for uh, my alts. Uh, it's called value and value2. And, uh, and I just need to. Uh, to, uh, to add the information that is some numerical values, and then it will be able to draw some graph based on this, on this import. So here are some graphs from OpenLog. Uh, so it's a stratigraphy visualization. It's useful for, uh, for the geology. Uh, for, you know, it's a two-step process if you want to get this graph. First of all, you need to, um, to select which all you want to see. And in a second part, for each all, you just need to uh, select which property you want to display. So I've selected one all uh, and from the 2D canvas of QGIS, and then I have selected the, the lithographic information, and I get this result, uh, which is also very interesting. Is you can change, you can easily change the symbology. So uh, you, you can have, uh, you can have uh, very useful. 
uh, geological visualization right now with OpenLog. Uh, and which is also interesting, as I said, uh, OpenLog is supposed to be very generic, so you can uh, import data which are uh, some depth information, or you can also uh, import some time representation, which uh, value which has changed over time. So on this example, which is just a time series, and the import is uh, exactly the same, you just need to say this is a depth or this is a time series, and then you can get those graphs uh, uh, from selected uh, the hole and the properties. For example, I have selected one hole and said I want to see the, some water information along the hole. And of course, uh, you can also select multiple properties and you can uh, display them at the same time. And you also have some uh, symbology uh, information you can change, you can change the color, you can change the shape, etc. Um, it, it, uh, it's part of the last release of OpenLog. Uh, as part of the 3D visualization, uh, at the moment, uh, QGIS 3D is really interesting because you can load right now a lot of different type of layers and features. But it's just a, a generic 3D scene. You don't have some geological information you don't really understand what you're looking at uh, from, a from a geographic perspective. So we asked ourselves, what should we do uh, to solve this issue? And the first thing we did was to add uh, a Cartesian axis, which is displayed in 3D views, which helps to understand exactly what you're looking at and from where. And we also want to be able to define a bonding box. By bonding box, I say that you can, you can select the sub because uh, you have a lot of information, and you say, yeah, I, I only want to be able to, uh, to have this sub part, and I, um, which is also very useful, is once you have a bonding box which is defined, which is just a sub part of your data, you can also uh, only display this, um, this part, which makes the 3 day viewer much faster and much more interesting. So, this is QGIS 3D uh, from the 3.26 um, version. Uh, and on the, on the top right, you can see the, the axis, which has, what we, uh, which has been done by Auslandia. And um, uh, if you try to, uh, to move, to, to, to rotate this scene, you, can see, you, you, you will check that it's really, really slow. Uh, because there are a lot of data that you, you, need, to, uh, you need to update. Uh, of course, QGIS 3D has some kind of uh, load information, which means that you, it only uh, loads the details you want to see, and it's, uh, it only uh, displays the visible um, scene at the moment which means that this scene is bigger than what you, you can see at the moment, but the, the information and the data which are not visible on the screen, QGIS 3D doesn't like to, throw, to load them, but it's still a little bit too slow. So uh, what we did is that we add this bonding box information. Basically from the 2D canvas, you select uh, a river bond, so you get some X and Y information, and then you just need to add some depth information. I want to see uh, my information along the, this vertical uh, axis, and then you, you get this, which is exactly uh, the same scene, but we just have defined a bounding box. And right now, uh, it works on my machine. It's not yet upstream. I wish I will be able to um, to, make a, to create a, a merge request uh, soon on, Q, on the QGIS repository. Which is really interesting with this approach is that uh, it's, uh, we did this change on the shader level of, uh, of the GPU, which means that uh, it's really fast and it's basically uh, some basic change. It just says if uh, the data that you want to display on the screen is not inside the bounding box, don't display it. Don't do anything. Discard this information. And, then, and it works with every type of, um, of data in, uh, in QGIS, with uh, vector data, with raster data. So it's, um, 
it's really a generic approach. Uh, and to uh, last of all, let's talk about the future developments we want to add to, uh, to QGIS and to OpenLog. As far as the uh, uh, OpenLog model is concerned, we want to add some section viewer uh, to OpenLog model. It's, uh, it's basically uh, a section along a vertical axis. You have the drill holes, as you can see, and it, 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 uh, it displays them along uh, the vertical axis. It can be a depth representation and it can be a time representation. It doesn't really matter. It, under, it should be under both cases. Um, and as I said before, uh, this part has already been done in the geoscience uh, module uh, developed by Roland Hill. And Roland Hill is really interested uh, to bring this type of uh, viewer directly in OpenLog. In this way, we'll have, uh, we, we, at this point, we will have some uh, drill or visualization with, um, uh, with the curves and with section mover. Uh, we also want to add some integration for third-party database, uh, a geotic database, data shed database, and acquire database. These are some proprietary database which are used by our partner from OpenLog. Uh, we don't really want to provide a full solution. Uh, we, uh, at the moment, we think that we only add some kind of read access. Uh, uh, you load the database. With, uh, with OpenLog and ExploreDB, you get a snapshot, a read-only snapshot, and then you can, you, can, you can see your data, which come from uh, your, uh, your company, but we don't want to, uh, to add some right access because it's really complicated, it's time-consuming, and we don't really think it's what we should focus on at the moment. But this, uh, our partner are really interested if they can directly load in QGIS their proprietary database. And as part of the 3D visualization is concerned, if you're interested in this, we created a QGIS enhancement proposal. It's number 252. It explained our roadmap for the 3D viewer. Uh, we have already had some uh, feedback about it. If you're interested, please go there and add your own comment. Uh, yeah. This, this is a representation of what we would like to achieve uh, to have a good drill or three day representation. Um, uh, you can see the drill holes, which is also interesting uh, on this representation is uh, that you have your, um, your properties. Uh, you can see that the color along the drill holes uh, are defined by the properties. So we want to be able to uh, to, uh, to have some kind of symbology which is uh, ab able to represent a 3D uh, drill all with um, your own cast, your own geophysical or geolocal properties associated. Another interesting part we are working on right now as far as this 3D is, uh, 3D is concerned is the cross-section visualization in 3D. Uh, it also uh, requires some changes in the shader part of QGIS and uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's basically it's, it's a simple uh, change. It just says, uh, just as for the bonding box, if you're not inside the, the section, uh, don't, don't display the, the feature. And um, the main problem at the moment is, uh, is that there are a lot of shaders used by QGIS, so we had to make all the changes at once in all the shaders if you want to have this representation from all type of features under by QGIS. And the other problem is that we have some frame graph issue. A frame graph in a 3D representation is basically uh, you have a lot of objects, is how you want to, to represent them on the same. Should, should one, should, should it have some shadow? Should it be below the other one, etc. The frame graph is responsible for handling of all of this. And uh, currently, the QGIS 3D frame graph is really monolithic, and uh, we're trying to make no changes, but just uh, make a, a more modular approach. And once it's done, we really believe we will be able to, uh, to solve a lot of issues with the frame graph and to be, um, to be able to add those features in a, in a proper manner. 
So thank you very much. Thank you, Jeanne.